Um, all right, so real quick before the video starts, I'd like to preface it by saying that this tutorial, I guess you could call it, isn't meant for people who are, have no idea how to use World Painter and other softwares. So I guess some of the tips that I give are a bit more advanced. If you are brand new working with World Painter, go and check out tutorials online. I know there are loads of them. Lord Dacker makes a couple really good ones. I really would recommend doing that before you watch this. This is also the first installment of, of I suppose, the series of videos where I kind of explain how to do certain aspects of terrain. Like, this is going to be shaping, the next one's going to be how to do layers and conquest, then biomes, schematics, uh, plants, all sorts of those. Those types of things. Anything that you need to make terrain, basically. But that being said, let's get into the video. All right, y'all, what's up? So basically, I'm going to start this series to basically just, like, take you guys through the process that I go through when making terrain and maybe help you guys out with your own maps a little bit along the way. I'm also going to show you multiple different ways to do certain things just so that in case one of these things doesn't work for you or for some reason with your project or map or whatever you don't really want to use this or it interferes with other things you're trying to do just so you have like some options along the way right and the first thing we're going to look at when it comes to making terrain is the main shape so the shape of the terrain it's one of the most important parts I have three distinct ways that I would say are effective to make good looking terrain and I'm not talking about like like shit mid fucking I don't know world world painter stuff but like actual what I would call high quality terrain that makes people look at it and be like wow that looks so good or makes makes <laughs> makes vanilla new noobs look at it and be like oh it looks like real life yeah, so that's the type of I'm trying to make you know yeah so anyway so the first way and I'd say the most the simplest way that most people know of is just basic world painter stuff right so you have your your custom brushes that you import into the brushes folder and you just do mountains through, through that right so this is something that's that's super easy right it's the most basic way to make terrain i suppose you could do it in game with like world edit and using brushes and the smooth the brush and whatever 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 but i'm talking about effective on like large scale maps right and this is the the simplest easiest step and if done right like some people will be like some people will say like oh yeah you can't make good terrain in in world painter alone you need world machine or gaia or something like that right like no this is this absolute dog shit. it's not true whatsoever here is some here's here's an image like just take this image this is an image this is a, a build that i did using just world world painter no world machine involved if you're good with brushes and you have the right brushes, you can really do anything you want. It just takes time, right? It takes time, but you can still do it in large scale. It's the easiest way to do it. So yeah, that's that's the first one, right? Now we're gonna step it up a bit, right? So now the 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 next step I'd I'd say, or the next next level up from from just using basic world painter to do it, is to use height maps. So to import a height map into world painter that you then basically paint give layers to put schematics on whatever whatever y'all may be asking like okay well where do i get a height map from so there there are different ways you can get a height map from so basically either and what i'd say is, is, is what, what i do the most right if you want to get a specific a very specific if you have a specific image in mind that you're trying to replicate in game is to use world machine um there is a free version of world machine it has a limit it goes to 1000 by 1000 or i think it's like 1024 blocks by 1024 block maps it's free you can download on the site there is a paid for version that has unlimited unlimited space that you, or unlimited map size that you can implement but it costs i think i don't know 300 bucks or something like that and let's be honest not everybody has the memes to pay for something like that so just get the free version it's pretty good and there isn't even in the free version there are ways to make really really large maps like you can for example make tile by tile and just kind of mesh them all together at the end it takes longer but it works but anyway with this free version what you can do is you can now you now have the option of erosion you have the options to shape your things you can you can make your maps a lot more realistic a lot more high level uh, give them a lot more depth and it just looks all in all it just looks pretty sick right um here are some images of maps that i've done or with world machine yeah so you can see uh 
there's always like certain traits you can tell by a map that's done with world machine right so you have the erosion lines you have displacement lines you have ridges certain little wavy bits and stuff it, it, it's it's quite easy to tell but it really does add a lot to your terrain adds a lot of depth a lot of character and i definitely would recommend it the other way that you could get a height map right so world machine when you export it, it exports a height map that you can then implement or well you can import it into world painter and then edit it, add your shit, and import it into game, right? So the other way to get a height map would be to use real-life uh, topography data. You may be thinking, okay, how do I get real-life topography data? Either just Google it, like, most places you can just literally find pictures of height maps for, like, no very known places and stuff, if you just Google the place and then write height map behind that. So, look, if I, if I Google now, I don't know, if I Google height map, or, I don't know, height map, big mountain, <laughs> or height, height let's, let's take a specific one, height map, Alps, right? If I'm trying to find a height map of the Alps, I Google that, I'll find a height map of the Alps, right? It may not be super high resolution, but I can still find it, right? So, that's one way to get it. The other way that I would recommend, because I wouldn't really recommend that way unless you're trying to get, like, mid-tier type maps, is to go on a site that's specially made for this. So, there are a couple of sites... That, that basically are only made for exporting real life world data. The site that I'd recommend that I use the most that also works the best is Open Topography. It's a free site, hundreds of satellites all put their data on there. If one of them doesn't work, you can always use another one. I'm gonna show how to use this site in a future video because it is, it is a bit complicated, but I'm sure there's also other people who've explained it before, but I'm gonna explain it again just in case fucking, I don't know, they did a shitty job doing it. But yeah, so you got that. You can you can take you can take take a section of that map. You can scroll the whole world map. Go zoom in on a place that you like. I don't know. Let's say you like if if if, if you like. Let's take the Alps again, for example. Like if you if you like a certain part of the Alps, you can scroll and you can mark that place. You can download a height map from that. You can import it into game. Or what I would recommend doing is importing it into World Machine, editing it there because often these height maps will. Uh, they won't be one to one pick they won't be one meter one pixel scale They'll usually be like I don't know 30 meters one pixel So they'd be very very or at least blurry in comparison to what the real-life place would look like So I'd recommend importing it into world machine Adding little details here and there like for example running a couple of erosion nodes over giving it some some ridges uh, giving it some Terracing anything to basically add depth to the thing then you can export it again as a height map from there and then import it into game that's probably one of the things that I use the most. It's super effective, especially for mountain ranges. Hills it works too, mountain ranges it works the best. The third, and what I would say is also quite an effective way, especially if you have a very specific output you want to get from your map. The third option for that would be basically, or it's quite, it's a more complicated and tedious workflow, but basically the way it works is you take you take world a world painter right you shape out your map with with the shapes that you like in world painter but because world painter doesn't have an option for like for example erosion or for terracing or whatever and it's super tedious to to draw in every single terrace and every single erosion line so you shape shape the main things in world painter then you instead of exporting it as a new map you export it as a high resolution height map. Then you have a high resolution height map of the map that you just made in World Painter. Then you import that height map into World Machine, run it through erosion, sh change. You don't you don't even have to edit the shape. You can add terraces, add Veroni, add add whatever you need, right? And then from there you export it again, import it into World Painter. That way you basically have the shape that you started out with added erosion lines added a flow map added whatever you needed and then from there you can import it into game and it'll it'll look it'll look mind-blowing right so those are what i would say are like the three most maybe not most used but definitely the three most effective ways to make realistic terrain or really really good looking terrain at least for my standard which i'd say is quite high <laughs> But still, it, those are the, th the three best ways to make the shaping, the shaping your terrain. I am going to go into like uh, into depth on, on those different techniques again in the future, but this is just an overview just to give you guys some ideas of what, what kind of stuff you can do with, with these different softwares and how you can make good terrain.
All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope that this could help you guys in planning your terrain and give you guys a couple new ideas of how to make terrain or different workflows that you can use to get good, good results. If there's any aspect of this that didn't work for you, let's say you clicked on something and it didn't want to work or you try to export something and it, it doesn't export right, if you go on my channel, there's a video called Troubleshooting where I basically go over all the different, all the different problems that I've faced over the years of using World Machine and World Painter and all those different things. And if there's a problem that's common that I've had before, I explain how to fix it. So don't panic. There probably is a way to fix it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I could help and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.